Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke and in this video we're going to be doing a little review on the Trace One dash cam from Acaso. Now this dash cam is a dual camera dash cam which means it records not only from the front but also records backwards as well. It's got a combined degree ratio of 340 degrees, 170 either side and you can record in either 1080p 60fps using just the front one or you can record in 1080p 30fps using both of the cameras combined. Now it comes with 24 hour loop recording which creates video clips automatically overwriting the oldest files to save the current file. Not only that but it has a built in G sensor and emergency lock so if you were to have an accident it's automatically saved. Okay, so we've taken off the plastic cellophane cover in it, so we will now slide this black box out of the outer casing and we'll open it on up and have a look and see what we got on the inside. So one of the first things you will see when you open up the box is a quick installation guide on how to attach the mount to the windscreen, you like get a chance to win a free dash cam and then you also get your quick reference guide, which by the way, I did need to use. You'll obviously have your cigarette lighter power this enables you to plug it into your cigarette lighter and then you know powers the actual device it runs on 12 volt and i do like the fact it's got a usb port on the back of it as well which enables you to plug in for example a phone charger to charge your phone this is the mount which plugs uh it doesn't plug it sucks onto the windscreen uh nice little uh, little mount there not too big uh nice and easy to use as well in a second i will show you how to attach that to the dash cam we also get this, which is a device which will enable you to A, put the dash cam onto the mount, but also hide your wire in as well when you get into the car later and install it. And we've also got a data cable here, so if we wanted to plug it directly into the computer, we can transfer the files over. Personally, I take out the SD card, insert it into an external SD uh, card reader, use that. Now these here are little things that you uh, basically stick to your car to enable you to, you know, tidy up your cables a little bit maybe you don't want it too messy and uh, in here we have the actual camera itself so this is the Acaso Trace one we've got the power button there on the side we've got the LCD screen the camera and the infrared lens uh, the microphone is there and that there is where you plug in the power and obviously we've got our menu buttons on the bottom of the camera as well this then is how you attach the Trace One to the camera mount. You use the uh, the orange thing that they send, pyre out the logo, and then the mount just clicks on in and you slide it along, which I thought actually was pretty cool, pretty nifty way of doing it. Uh, once you've done that, you can then put the Acaso logo back on it and uh, have it on show. One of the last things to do then is just peel off all of this plastic cellophane uh, so there we go, we're just pulling off the rear camera, that's the one that's going to be facing us. The next one we pull off is going to be the main LCD screen, so you can actually see yourself on that screen as well as the front camera, which is what we are now peeling off, which is obviously going to see the front of the car, and just peel off that little blue one as well, just, you know, why not? <laughs> uh, so that's it, um, that's uh, all set up now, the only thing we need to do now is go for a little test drive and see what it's like. So. First thing I do is go for a little test drive during the night time. Okay, so we are currently sat in my car on a very quiet road at 11 o'clock at night. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> why Why am I sat in my car on a very quiet road at 11 o'clock at night? It looks a bit dodgy. Um, reason being is because the Acaso Trace 1, uh, it boasts super clear night vision recording abilities. So um, we're going to put it to the test, basically. So I'm going to turn off my interior lights. You probably can't see me now on the actual GoPro. But if we switch to the Trace One, you can see me, hello. So I was just pressing the button then on it so I can lit up so I can actually see myself. It does have an LCD screen, um, so you can see yourself on it, but obviously it's a screensaver as well, so it will turn off after a few seconds of inactivity and then record along in the background. So let's get going off this road and go for a little drive. So the Acaso Trace One at the moment is on Amazon for $69.99, uh, down from around about £92, so quite a good deal at the moment on Amazon if you are interested in getting this dash cam. Obviously Acaso sent the dash cam to me for free, so that's very nice of them, do appreciate that. But I finally got around to doing the review for them, and uh, 
yeah basically what I'm seeing of this camera so far I actually really really like to be fair so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off my microphone because at the moment you're listening to me via my microphone and we're going to see what the audio sounds like directly from the trace one so those of you who actually watch my vlogs you may uh, recognize this road this is the road that we go along to get loaded in the lorry but obviously it's night time now so you might not recognize it <laughs> Okay, so you join me Saturday morning uh, we're on our way to work and I thought I'd test out the dash cam. So right now we've got the Trace 1 set up on my windscreen. Uh, as you can see, you can see both the road ahead and you can see me as well. Because uh, it's a dual camera dash cam. So if you wish, you can have just the front run running at 1080p, 60fps. However, if you like, you can have both of them running simultaneously, which I suppose is the point of buying it in the first place. And you can, you can record at 1080p, 30fps with them both recording at the same time. So it's pretty cool. I think this camera would best suit um, like taxi drivers and Uber drivers who want to have the internals of the car recorded with the passengers in. Um, obviously it would suit just your everyday customer as well who just wants to record inside the, the, uh, the vehicle at the same time. But I don't think it would benefit myself driving a truck so much. Um, it, it could be good for my employer if they wanted to see what I was up to, but I don't need to see what I'm up to. <laughs> However, for my video content, it could be good. Uh, the only thing that put, lets it down personally for me is that it only records in black and white on the internal shot. Now, if it recorded in colour, then uh, that's a different game. That's a good, different story. I would probably use that for my vlogs. Um, but because it only records in, in black and white, um, yeah... I mean, it's alright, but I wouldn't necessarily use that footage in a, vi in a video, so not good for video content. Now, it's worth pointing out that the camera does obviously record simultaneously at the front and back at the same time. However, it doesn't save the file onto the same clip, so to speak. It saves it as two separate individual clips. So you've got a rear clip and you've got a front clip. Um, if you want to have it on screen like I have now, so you've got the, uh, the dash cam facing forwards and then the one facing backwards like in a small square at the top, then you're going to need to do some video editing because um, it doesn't do that for you automatically. It just saves it as individual files, so you have to go through them individually, watch them individually. But if you've got video editing software like I do, then you can synchronise the clips, uh, clip them together and, and have them shown up at the same time. Both the front and the rear camera on the Acaso Trace 1 have a 170 degree wide angle, so you can get plenty of footage in. Right now the dash cam is situated towards the, the far left hand corner of my car, um, and it's facing straight on, but you can still see me on the rear camera, so it just goes to show how wide it is. It doesn't matter where you place it in your car, it's going it's to see you basically, so that's good. So the camera does not have GPS built in, so it doesn't know how fast you're going, there's no option to turn that on or off, it's just, it's just not on there. Uh, obviously you've got standard features like time and date, uh, you can choose loop recording between 2 minutes, 3 minutes and 5 minutes and it's got uh, parking sensors and G sensors on it as well as standard so if you were to have an accident it would automatically save the clip, lock it so then you can't get deleted or, or rewrite over it. So it, it is good for that. So right now on Amazon it is currently selling for £69.99, that is in British Pounds. Uh, it is down from £92 or £99, something like that. So um, there's quite a considerable saving on it at the moment if you uh, go on Amazon. The link where to buy will be down in the description below, so click that link and uh, you can go and buy yourself one if you like. I, I think it's okay, yeah. Um, I like to give honest reviews on my channel. If I didn't like it, I would say. So there we go then, uh, it's a solid dash cam, I really do like it actually and I will be using it in my main family car. Um, so don't forget to use the 20% off discount code, it's a bit of a weird code I know but it's F-I-8-F-A-K-T-M, I will have it down in the description so you can just copy and paste it, uh, link where to buy it is also in the description as well. Uh, and yeah, so. I actually think this is a really good camera, so I want to thank Acaso for sending it to me in the first place. Uh, it's a brilliant camera, looking forward to using it on a more permanent basis. Um, if I were to give it a rating, um, I would say it was 
good sort of 9 out of 10. The only thing that lets it down for me is the black and white on the uh, the rear facing camera facing the, um, well facing me really, really, or facing you. If it wasn't black and white, um, I think that would be a fantastic camera. So definitely recommend it, go check it out, um, click the link, use the discount code. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.